This is just my opinion, man. Kamala Harris does not identify with black people, in my opinion. Let me tell you the problem with us as black people, what we, what the biggest mistake we make. And I, I was guilty of this. We vote for people because our community wants us to. We'll vote for people just because of their race. Don't give it, don't even know their politics. Can't tell you the first thing about their politics, but because they're black and we black and the things black people went through, we feel like it's, it's, on, it's only right that we vote for them. And that was the mistake I made in the last election. It's just the bottom line. I'm, I'm not a fan of, of JB at all. Um, he's senile in, my, senile in my opinion. He's incompetent. And I just don't like the way his, his, his thought process was back then. You get what I'm saying? His thought process as far as the, um, the crack law, the crime bill, what he thought about black people. It's like we, people just seem to forget about that. And everybody is telling like my people hang on to them out. Oh, that's the old him. Just forget about it. That's the problem with us black people. We always just forget about stuff and let stuff go. Kamala Harris does not identify with black people. And I'm not saying that because she's married to a, white, a Jewish guy. I'm saying that overall. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys got to remember, she was a prosecutor in San Francisco. And she has put numerous brothers in jail. Numerous brothers in jail, like on some prosec prosecutor misconduct type stuff. In fact, like prosecutor misconduct type stuff. Let me tell you. She put a guy in jail for six and a half years. She accused him of unaliving his best friend, one of his friends. And he didn't even do it. She was right there hammering in it, beating a dead horse, knowing that this guy was completely innocent. He wasn't the first one in that community that, that did that. She put several people behind bars knowing that the evidence did not point to them. But society needed somebody to pay for that crime. That's just the bottom line. She put one guy in prison for six and a half years. The same guy that got accused of um, unaliving his friend. He went to prison for six and a half years on a life sentence. Came home, got acquitted on six and a half years because the DA's office, which was headed by Kamala Harris, tried to frame him. That gentleman was given almost $14 million for that. Go look up on YouTube. Put in Kamala Harris prosecutor misconduct. Inmate locked up. Put in something to that effect. You're going to see one of the guys come up and talk about it. She knew he was innocent. How they say on that power thing, the streets needed a body. The streets needed a decoy. Somebody to, somebody to go to jail for this crime. And he ended up getting out in the paperwork. The front page of that paper said that so-and-so was framed. He was given a 13.6 or $13.1 million verdict. For a person to get an almost $14 million verdict, it has to be a lot of prosecutorial misconduct. Bottom line, you don't get that much money off no BS. You get that much money when a lot of misconduct has been done. It's like us as black people, we seem to just forget about things and just let stuff ride. In my opinion, if, 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 if she is chosen, we are in a whole world of trouble. Just picking anybody to fill in. And if you was one of the ones that was, with J, that was on JB's side, in my opinion, you got to be blind. Deaf or just plain out blank. Not in a million years will I ever vote for him. No, sir, no, ma'am. She does not identify with us. See, people often say, oh, um, like, okay, let me tell you, I had a couple white buddies. They say, um, why don't you guys, you know, you guys got a lot of examples in the community. Why don't you guys, why don't the females, you know, Follow Kamala Harris's footsteps, you know. Uh, uh, why don't the guys, you know, follow Obama's footsteps? That's a good example for you guys. They're not from where we're from. We love Obama, you know. That's a brother. They're not from where we're from. It's just the bottom line. They're not from where we're from, and the reason why I say that is because, okay, this is what you do. Get somebody from the projects from the hood that really, really made it out. And have them run for office. I guarantee they'll get every black vote in the nation. You got to get people that come from the same place we come from. I'm not talking about people that's like, like, like most of these presidents, they say be black and stuff. 
None of them are fully 100% black, these people that, that's in office. They always mix with something. You bring out a, a sister that's, or a brother that's 100% black, like white people say, you need to use them as examples. Then we probably use them as an example. You got Kamala Harris mixed with like Asian, Barack Obama mixed with like Samoan or Filipino, something like that from Hawaii. Get us a brother where his mama is black, his dad is black, and you'll see the difference. But those people y'all want us to align with, they don't align with us. Like Candace Owens. I had a guy tell me, why don't the females in your community align themselves with Candace Owens? She is not from where we're from. Even though she went through a little bout of racism and got a lawsuit from a high school, she's still not from where we're from, like the projects and stuff. It was a candidate from the projects that made it out, went to a reputable university, and did well for herself. Then we'll, then we'll, we'll identify with that because we, us, being from the hood, we know how hard it is to make it out of the hood and be and being a top echelon, being at the top of the hierarchy. We know how hard it is to make it out. So when we see that African American male or female make it out from where we from, we can identify like, man, they, they, they made it out. I can only imagine the things they went through to make it out. Cause we know what we went through to make it out. So we can only imagine what they went through to make it out. And it's more praise for them because they made it out and went the right way from the beginning, you know? But Kamala is, um. She has this one quote she says in every, all of her doggone speeches. Something about a burden. Just go put it in there. It's, it's the same doggone quote. Burden this, burden that. She's withholding. She was withholding evidence from the defense. She had evidence that she knew would get a, 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 a person off on a defense, and she still withheld it. She was doing a lot of things she was not supposed to be doing. That cost that dude six and a half years of his life for something he did not do. Imagine laying down in your cell at night, looking up at the ceiling, and you locked up for something you, you did not do. And on top of that, you got to listen to everything the guards tell you to do. You're not supposed to be in there. You got to listen to what they tell you to do. But hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Salute.